Hey guys, welcome to a brand new video on my channel, Makes Movies. If you are new to this channel, this is basically where I talk to you guys about my passion for movies. This goes from collections, hauls, reviews, and to today's video, so let's get into it. Okay, so apologies for the dog barking in the background, that is my next door neighbour's dog. He barks at random points, so I do apologise. Of course he starts barking when I'm doing my video. <laughs> Um, so yes, I'm back doing videos. Um, as you guys are all aware, I did put in a community post that I have now deleted. Um, but basically, I wasn't very well last week. And also, I've got some things going on at the moment mentally. Um, so just bear with. I'm going to slowly get back into this. Um, I'm going to try and do it so I do like one video a day. Or if I can't do one video a day, one video every other day. Just to slowly get back into the swing of things. And of course I thought today, why not do a review? And today it is Prompact. So this is a Disney Channel original movie that came out this year. I had been meaning to watch it since it came out, um, but I hadn't had a chance to until now. So I wasn't sure what it was about. I mean, obviously I knew it was about prom, um, but I weren't sure what the storyline was gonna be exactly. Um, so I watched the trailer for it and I thought, oh, this looks like it could be my kind of film. It's a rom-com. You know, it's teens and proms, so, you know, I thought, why not give it a go? And I'm actually glad I did. So, basically, Prom Pact, um, just to give you a very quick plot summary, you've got these two friends who make a pact to go to prom together because there's this promposal thing that's going all around and they don't look, they're not a massive party lot compared to most of the people at their school. So then they make a prom pact. However, of course, them two end up talking to certain popular people in the school and I'll see things start to change. Um, but I'm not going to say any more than that because I do try and stay as spoiler free as possible on my channel. It's not guaranteed. Obviously, things could get spoiled, but I just like to try and be as spoiler free as possible. So prom pact, obviously, prom. Um... It was actually a really good film. I actually quite enjoyed this. Was it predictable? Yes, but with any prom movie and especially with any teen rom-com movie that's set in a high school, it will be predictable. It will follow the same plot points as the typical teen romance goes. Um, but I still enjoyed it, even though it was predictable. It was fun. It was enjoyable. I had a good laugh. There was moments where I felt bad for the characters. There was moments I felt for the characters um the promposals were fun to watch um because the best part is is that the promposals happened in the background and you noticed them so like you knew when it was like the two friends together when you saw the promposals behind them you were just like they don't like that but they're hinting hinting at it because obviously it's prom so i thought that was quite good in the way of filmmaking i thought that was quite fun just to see the little things in the background i love the fact that the prom is 80s themed 80s is my favourite decade, so of course I loved that bit. And I noticed some of the things, like there was film things I recognised that they did. Um, but no, this is a good coming of age film. Um, I definitely would recommend this one if you just want to sort of like... If you're into your team rom-coms, this is one I definitely would recommend. Or if you just want a nice, simple movie, you know, not something that's too overly complicated that there's too much to follow because you are just following the two main characters and obviously a couple of other people around them. Um, but I, I think it's good. There were some good side plots as well that went on. Um, it's mainly with the main character, the girl, I can't remember her name now. Mandy, that's it. <laughs> Mandy's her name. Um, she's basically focusing on Harvard um, but then you've got the other characters as well. But I think it was quite a nice balance. Um, it weren't just all her. It was him as well and a couple of the other characters. So I thought that was a quite nice little balance. Um, I wouldn't give it a too high a score because, like I said, it is a bit predictable. But it's the fun kind of predictable. So it wasn't crap. I enjoyed it. I definitely would watch it again. Um, I'm glad it's on Disney+. Plus. Um, I wish it would come up on physical because I think I would add it physically to my collection because uh, I enjoyed it. I definitely would watch this again at some point. It's one of those streaming service films that I'm like, if I was away somewhere and I know for a fact I can get a good laugh out of this and a good enjoyment, then I'll put this on. So this is definitely one I would recommend. Uh, so the score I'm going to give it, 
is a 7.5 out of 10. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this review of Prom Pact. If you did, then do give it a thumbs up. And if you are new to this channel, then go ahead, hit that subscribe button and also the notification bell down below to be notified when I post. And also leave me your comments and thoughts on Prom Pact. Did you enjoy it? Did you not enjoy it? Let me know in the comments down below and I'll see you guys next time.